Okay, so we're gonna make a retro radio. So shift A, get a cube, scale that down, scale it on the wire a little bit. Okay, so that's our base shape. So left click the object, press tab to get to edit mode. Go to face select, left click this face here, press I, and then move your mouse in a bit, and make a little edge like that. Go to scale tool, scale that down a bit. Okay, so then press E to extrude it inwards. So just in a small bit like that. So then press tab to get into object mode. Then press Shift and D to duplicate this object. Right click to uh, set it back to where it was. Then I'm just gonna move that up on top. And I'm gonna press H to hide that for now. We'll use it later. Okay, so Shift A, mesh, cylinder. So don't move it or anything. And you should get this settings area. So for vertices, I'm gonna set mine to 20. So now you can move it. Rotate tool, hold control and it'll snap. So we'll take that down. Then press S to scale that inwards. Okay, so scale that down. And then you want to scale it pretty flat like that. And then move that against the uh, wall, against the edge. So about there, about that size. So press tab to get into edit mode. With face select turned on, I'm going to hold shift and left click these four while holding shift down. Okay, so hold shift, select this one, select this one. So you want to select this like upper ring up here. Then delete, delete faces. So in the back, select this face, delete that face. So delete this front face as well. Go to edge select, select this edge. Hold shift, select this edge. And then press E to extrude it, right click. So move it up on the Z axis. Get the scale tool, scale it outwards like that. Then press E again, right click. And then we'll scale that over to the edges. E again, arrow tool that up and then you want to press F and that will create a face between the two edges so then hold alt and left click this edge here and it will select all the way around then press F to put a face on top of it okay so left click this main face S to scale it down a bit maybe like that then I'm just going to move it upwards then go to edge select I'm just going to move these edges Hold shift, left click that, left click that, while holding the shift down. I'm just going to scale that out a bit. I'm going to move that up a little bit. I'm going to go to vertices select, left click that, hold shift, left click that. I'm just going to scale that out a bit. It has got like a little edge around it. So in edit mode, left click this top face, press I. Scale it in a bit, like that, left click, hold alt, left click one of these edges in here, then press E, hold it out a little bit, left click that, right click, shade auto smooth, you know, let's move these out a bit, so shift A, mesh cylinder, get the rotate tool, hold control, snap that to 90 degrees, then press S to scale it down, move it into place in here, scale it down a bit more. It's kind of hard to see, but I think that's all I got. So scale that down. Uh, press tab. Get into edit mode. Face select. This face this. So move this back inwards a bit. Probably match this uh, extrusion here. So it's it's flat. And then extrude that out. And then press S to scale it down. Like that. Left click that, right click, shade auto smooth. Yeah, okay, so shift A, get your cylinder, don't move it. In the object sense down here, you want 12 vertices. So scale that down, rotate that, hold control. Scale that down. I'm gonna do a tab into edit mode on this button. I'm gonna select this face here. I'm gonna scale that in a bit more. Tab into edit mode, hold shift, left click every other one of these spaces while holding shift down, like that. So you wanna press E to extrude them, right click, then go to scale. Get this little diagonal cube here and move that out. And it'll scale these out a bit. 
You only want a small amount like that. So we're still in edit mode. We're gonna gonna select all them. Go to individual origins, and then if you press S, it'll scale them down. So you kind of want it like that. Go back to medium point, tab out. So now we have this little um, dial to grab. So in edit mode, face select, set this face. Press I, bring it in a bit. Press I again, like that, left click. Hold Alt, select this line here. And then press E to pull that out. Uh, Control R to get a leap cut. Then left click on this edge here, right click. And then just pull that out a little bit. And uh, in face select, set this middle face here. And just press E to extrude it in a bit. Left click that, right click, shade auto smooth. So shift, left click, left click, arrows. This is all in object mode. Shift and D. We want to press S to scale it down. Like that. Select this, go to scale mode, scale it on the X. I'm going to line it in with this edge here. Shift D. I'm just going to put that in between these two. Then I'm going to hold shift, select these two. Shift and D to duplicate and move that to the other side. So in, in line with that. Okay, so down here, I'm going to hold shift and right click to move my cursor. Shift A, cube, scale that down. Full stop on the number pad to uh, zoom in. And I'll scale that out a bit. Scale that down a bit, move that out. Tab into edit mode. Set this front face here. Press I. Scale that down a little bit. Press E, move that back a bit, tab out of it, shift A, mesh cube, scale that cube down so it fits in here. And tab into edit mode on this object, hold shift, select them, hold shift, select these. With the scale tool I'm just going to scale them out a bit, make it a bit wider. I'm going to press tab on this, I'm going to press control R to get a leap cut, halfway over this edge here. Middle mouse wheel upwards, get two. Left click, right click. Let's scale that out a bit. Face select, set this face here. I'm just gonna pull that out. Left click, shift and left click, shift and D. Right click, and then drag this over to the other side. So in a, in a similar place. I'm gonna move this to it to be in the middle-ish. Okay, so press tab to get into edit mode. Okay, so hold shift, select these four edges. Hold B, middle mouse wheel up to add another loop in it. Left click, moves the edges out on this uh, radio. Tab into edit mode on the back. Face select, left click, press I. And then press S to scale that down. Right, press E. And just move that in a small amount. Shift right click to get a cursor up here. Shift A, add a cylinder, scale that down, rotate it, hold control, 90 degrees. Flatten out a bit, tap into edit mode, set this top face, press I, move that in a bit. E to extrude that in a bit more. Just gotta scale that a little bit. Right click, shade auto smooth in object mode. Then just move that to the back. Shift D, move that over. Shift D, move that over. So I'm gonna put these three on this side. They're a little bit big, so I'm just gonna scale them down a bit. I'm gonna press Shift A, get a cube. Scale that down with S. Flatten it out, make it a bit longer. And then that's just gonna be the backing for these. Like that. Okay, so shift A, get a, another cylinder, scale that down, scale tool, scale it flat, yeah like that, shift and D, scale it down, scale it outwards, I think something like that's pretty good, tab edit mode, select this top face, E to extrude that out, S to scale that down, like that, so right click, shade smooth, shift D, duplicate it, and then scale it down a bunch, and then scale it out. So I'm just going to shift and D to duplicate it. And then I'm just going to move it around. 
Okay, so hold shift, then left click these. Shift and D to duplicate, then go to rotate tool. And then just rotate them so they fit in there. Okay, so you press Alt and H to unhide this object up here. Scale this down, and then rotate it so it sits on top. Okay, so, so select this big box, press H to hide that. Tab into edit mode, edge select, hold shift. Select these for edges again, and just press Control B. Just to do another little bevel like that. Control R, left click, to create this little edge here. Go to face select, Alt, left click, and just press E to extrude that. Then go to your scale tool. Go to local because it's rotated. So you just want to scale it just a small amount. Like that. Press tab to get back to object mode, Alt H to unhide the main frame down here. So left click this, tab into edit mode, face select, press I. Move that there, press E to extrude that in. Like that. So shift, right click, get your 3D cursor there, shift A. Do another cylinder, scale that down, rotate that. Then you want to scale that in a bit. Yeah, so left click that. Make sure it's flush for that. Uh, left click it, shift and D to duplicate. Then we'll scale it out. Press S to scale it down. Press tab again to edit mode. Select this top face here. I want to scale it in a bit. Scale it down a bit so it matches that. Tab into edit mode. Face select, select this face, press I. Then E and pull that in a bit. So it's got this kind of edge around it. Tab into edit mode, press E. Scale that down. Right click, shade smooth. Right click, shade out, smooth on that. Left click, shift left click. Duplicate that across. Then hold shift, select the rest of them. Shift and D again. Move that over with a local still on. Then I'll hold shift and select two of these. Uh, shift and D to duplicate. And just put that in the middle of these. I'm going to hold shift and select all these. I'm just going to scale them in as well. They're a bit sticky out here. I'm going to tab in edit mode. I'm just going to pull that down a, a bit. So shift right click, cursor up here, shift A. Get a cylinder, scale it down, irritate that, or hold the control to snap it. So with that there, shift and D, pull one out, scale it down a bit, scale it out. Move that out a bit. Tap in Edward, set this back face and just scale it up a bit. Uh, let's give it more of a uh, more shape. So tab in edit mode. So press I, move that down a bit, extrude that out, then press I again a small amount, E to extrude that out. So you want to pull it out a bit. Control R, use your middle mouse wheel to add a bunch of loop cuts to it. Right click. So I'm going to select this end, go to global, turn on proportional editing. So when you move it you should get this area of effects. You can change it by using your mouse wheel. Okay, so I'm going to go to X-ray mode, press C for circle select. Use your mouse wheel to make it bigger or smaller. I'm just going to select this area here. I'm going to pull that down. Turn that off. So you want it to sit on top of the other box. Turn that off. And just move that to there. So shift right click over here, shift A, add a cube. Go to local mode and uh, scale it to a rectangle. Move that out a bit. Turn to edit mode. Turn proportional editing back on. And I just want to pull it up a little bit like that. Press E to extrude. Turn that off again. 
scale that out a small bit. Extrude that down. Press E again, scale that up a bit. Then E'd extrude that inwards. And then just attach the box to that. So it kind of copies this side a bit. So tap into edit mode with this. Select this bottom end here. Scale that in a bit. Uh, just press A on all of it. Control B. Like that. Okay, and uh, select the wire. Right click, shade smooth. Right click, shade auto smooth. Right click, shade smooth. So tap into edit mode. Control R, and a loop cut in. And uh, scale that. Scale that out a bit. Select this face here. And just extrude that down into itself. Uh, shade auto smooth. Okay, now. Shade smooth. Tap into edit mode. Hold Alt, left click there, hold Shift, left click there, and then shade that flat, tab out. Shift right click, bring your cursor up here, Shift A, get a plane, uh, press tab, select it, press I, bring it in a bit, like that, press I again, like that I think. Okay, so hold Shift and Alt, then left click these edges here, then delete them, delete faces, go back into object mode. Just rotate that down here. Go into object mode, select this walkie talkie bit. Set these edges. Shift select that, shift select that. Let's scale that in. Set this bottom face here. I just pull that up. Okay, so select this, press tab, go into edit mode. Press A to select the little bit, control B. Round that out. Shift right click, shift A. Get another plane. And uh, just place that underneath that one. Shift E to duplicate it, then we take that across. Set this to global. And then we take that to the corners. Back to local, scale it up a bit. Uh, shift and D to duplicate. You want to rotate that on the global axis. Like that. So press tab on this, select the back, press I. Get a small amount and press S to scale it inwards. So do that. Make sure that in a bit. Go to object mode. Shift A. Uh, shift right click to uh, get your cursor. Shift A. Get a cube. I'm going to do this in local. Tab in edit mode. Move that face in a bit. I'll just put a delete that one here. Delete faces. It's like you're not, going to, you're not going to see it. So go to object mode. Control A. Scale. Press tab. Control and B with everything selected. I'm going to move my middle mouse downwards to get rid of the loop cut. And I'm just going to Bevel that a bit like that. Tap out of that. And then uh, shade smooth on it. Shift and D. So get these two. Move this to that end. Shift and D. Move that's there. I'm going to move them in a little bit. Uh, so come down here and uh, select these. And uh, shift duplicate them. And we'll just put these on the back in uh, global mode. Like this. Okay, yeah, so select this, press tab to go into edit mode. Uh, go to knife tool, left click here, drag over, left click here, and then press enter. Then go to face select, select this face up here, and then press I. I'm going to scale that down a bit. And uh, I'm just going to extrude that inwards. Shift A, and get a plane. Hold control, we set 90 degrees, press S to scale it down. And I'll put that there. Okay, so there's a simple radio setup. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. Leave a like if you liked it, subscribe if it helped. Uh, thanks for watching.